This is a quad refinery. Let's see if we can just kind of like glide up on this thing. Oh, no. Oh, state, state, build. There we go. And we also have like these little cannons right here that pop up like that. They're like little ghost bots. So those are 20. Wow, look at that. We're about to hit a million bucks. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back playing Terra Tech, and for today's episode, we are going to go and check out this new biome that I just now discovered. I haven't actually been over there yet, so as we can see, we're kind of right on the edge. It hasn't even shown on the map. So we have like a search for science mission over here, and then also a trading station that we need to unlock, and that will allow us to see the area a little better. And right now, I'm currently stuck up here on this giant hill or flat area, you know, flat mountain-y type area. I don't even know how I got up here. It was kind of a, a chore, but basically I did a mission where I had to uh, fight for a chest thing or a drop point and or drop chest or whatever it's called. And it put it like basically like right on the edge right here for some reason. And so I had to come all the way up here to get it. And then of course it like threw up all the parts down there. So I had to use my little SEU thing to my real powerful one to try to grab all the parts. But now I'm stuck up here and I ended up putting a refinery area here to collect some money off of one of these little mineral deposit areas. And this is a new thing that you guys had suggested blah, that you guys suggested in the comments. And let me go and switch over to this guy real quick and then we'll go talk about some of the upgrades I've done. So this is a quad refinery. So you guys said that using four of the standard little GSO auto miner things here instead of one of the big other whatever it's called. I can't even remember what the thing is. It's the other miner, but it's the one by the Geocorp. There you go. So the other giant Geocorp miner, I don't know if there's any other miners, you know, by the other corporations, but so far I've only come across those two. And so I had a bunch of these and so I just put them up in like this little array arrangement here that uh, you guys kind of suggested using four of them to mine one spot. And as you can see, we get a good amount off of that one spot. This isn't really a expensive spot. Like we don't, I mean, not expensive, but you know, like a spot where we get a lot of money off of. The other one that I had in the other area was giving us like 244, like 244 uh, block bucks or whatever per piece of refined material. But this one only gives us like 83 or something like that. Let's see what it does here. But yeah, 83. So we're only getting 83 for each one of those, but it runs a little quicker and it gives us four. And then I can also drop off some over here if we need to. I ended up putting some shields on this as well and saving it with some batteries and a little solar panel thing and just some things like that. So it's still fairly compact. It's pretty easy to plop down and it takes a little bit to align up, but not, not terrible. It's not super difficult. It's just, it ha the spot has to be kind of flat. So mining the ones on some of the uneven areas is a little bit you know, more difficult. It's actually kind of difficult for just the regular miners sometimes. So that's kind of what we have going on right now. It works pretty good. And I, like I said, I saved it over here in our little load tech thing. So we'll go right here. And if, if I want to, I can just, you know, plop it down like that and it just builds it wherever I need to. And then if I need to align it, I just jump into the cab and then go into build mode. And then I can turn it and kind of float it around right over the spot where I need it. And then that kind of helps situate it, you know, into the right location. And then I just drop it, hit V, and then it mounts to the ground. So works pretty good. And, you know, I, I, I don't know. I haven't really gotten a chance to use it too much. I've spent all my, all my money now. <laughs> I had like 600 grand or whatever. And now I don't, oops, I didn't mean to turn that around. Now I don't have as much because I've been upgrading my little giant, I don't know what to call this thing. It's, it changes like every 10 seconds. <laughs> oh no, don't, don't store it away. Yeah, thank you. So I ended up adding some little laser things on the bottom that actually shoot downwards and all that. And then of course, as you see, I've added like all these lasers and rockets to the thing because now we're getting attacked by some more difficult tech, you know, rover flying things or whatever you want to call them. 
and they can be quite difficult so now i have to use these rockets so i have like these rocket launchers right here and then i have some right there and they just fire up and then they'll auto target the the uh, bad guys or the enemies and everything pretty easily and they even target like when they explode all the parts that fly off if I've got my finger held down on that it'll blow up all the parts and then i have all of these little things which are lasers that come out and then they just start firing and then these are auto aiming lasers that will create a constant beam on the target and are pretty good at like picking apart a a, a tech and leaving all the parts behind for me to, to scavenge i also have a SU thing on the back here that it seems to just be deployed all the time like if I anchor my thing it doesn't seem to make much difference so it just is always collecting stuff it doesn't have much of a range so I don't really I still prefer the Geocorp one because it just has a far a, a much bigger range to it but I don't know so far it's I like it it's it gets less it's less in the way so I don't you know accidentally you know break it by running into things and it doesn't get shot off very easily because it's mainly protected. And then I have our little refinery in the back, which now like actually collects things as we go and processes them a little easier. But I have this silo issue and I haven't figured out the silo. So you guys are gonna have to tell me in the comments how to use a silo. All it does is store stuff and I can't figure out how to get things out of the silo. Like this thing when I mounted, I was hoping that this would suck stuff out of the silo maybe if i reverse it well it, see it doesn't even do it when i reverse it and i have it enabled you know like we're tethered to the ground and everything but i thought it would pull stuff out of the silo and then process it but it's not doing it so i don't think you know reverse i just don't know how to make the silos work anytime i store something in it i can't get it out unless i just manually pull it out and then i can process it so kind of weird i don't really know exactly what to do with that but let's go ahead and head off to that new area which is behind me i'm going the wrong way and see about going to that mission let's find the mission on the map here and i don't know if we need to we might we're going to end up either going to the trading station or the science thing we'll put a check at the science deal here and head that direction but in order to get over there we may have to kind of backtrack a little bit because I am not uh, very mobile around this giant hill area like these little guys. So, see my missiles take care of those guys. Holy cow, it's a 3D wheel coming our way. And there's something crazy over here. I don't know what that is, but I, I want to get over there. It looks like ice or snow. So hopefully, I'm not sure if this is like Terra Tech Worlds where the ice damages you know us, but I guess we're going to find out. So let me go over here. There we go. Let's see. Of course, I'm stuck on this thing, so I have to go into the build thing, come out of it, and then we'll just truck on down over here. But yeah, I get stuck in this area. This is a very, very not, I do not have the best vehicle for this space. <laughs> it is tough. So, oh my gosh. So, is this okay to go to? I guess I'm going to save real quick. Yeah, let's save and then. All good there, and then that way if I get down here and we end up exploding. Look at that, what the heck is that? So I don't know, hopefully we can get over here. Oh, your target's in the middle of this biome. Oh my gosh, we are sliding. Intentions and report back to headquarters. Are we actually cruising around over here? This looks like, oh, this is, it's like ice. Look at that, when I, I guess that's what this is. Is this an ice biome? All right, so we need to go over here. Man, I have no idea. All right, so let's go. He said in the middle. I'm sure we're gonna get attacked. Always are getting attacked. There's something over there I need to go check out. So let's look over here. There's another area. Not sure, are we in the middle? Well, let's go this way. Oh, there's a thing right there. Okay, so we got like a little bot dude. He's gonna give us a mission maybe? What? Oh, we are sliding. Must you sneak up on someone? Don't you know the scientists need space? And sincerely, what? Shoot, what in the world? Better catch up with the science with your science friend. Sci scientist friend, can't speak. Okay. Oh, he's over here. Holy mackerel! We are sliding. Okay, makes turning in a circle easier though. 
Let's go this way. There's a little bot buddy. What? <laughs> you again. These indigenous in what? Indignant interruptions? What the heck? Time to make a haste to my hideaway. Oh boy. I'm assuming it's gonna be this way. Well, that is unusual. Your scientist friend has disappeared from our radar. Great. Some sort of cloaking device must have been activated. Ooh, I could use one of those. Explorer area, I'm sure you'll find the target hideaway soon. Okay, so I bet it's over here, right? It's gotta be over where all these crazy statue things are. Well, not really statues, but architect things. So he's not there. Can I grab whatever that is? Is that my stuff? Let's see, I see anything there? This is like a maze. This was this is probably the entrance into this place. Okay. So let's go this direction. There he is. We found him. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't get attacked in here. Okay. Do you wish to know what I'm researching? Yeah, that'd be nice, man. Well, actually, I don't really know. What? Something in this area activated an alert on our laboratory apparatus, but alas, I couldn't attain something. But the fact that you managed to track me down makes me think that you could use some, use it? I don't know. Designation is Ridicule Research Science Officer. Oh my god. You may simply call me Adam. Man, is there a way to... Oh, sorry, bud. Pretty catchy. I guess it's just going to go fast. I got to turbo read that. It's hard to read all this and do a video at the same time. You must uncover my location. Understood. Initiating 321. Is he going to disappear again? God dang. I, I guess I can't suck up any of that stuff, right? That doesn't do anything. Okay. I guess we're going to go to another spot. Okay. I think I found him. Is that him? Man, oh my god. This is like crazy hide and seek game here. What are you doing stuck over here? But not unsalvageable. Perhaps this time I will position myself in a much more problematic positively problem rush. So we're gonna have to go find him again. Okay, so I've been cruising around and I noticed there is somebody up there or something. I don't know if that's the dude. I don't know how to get up there. Hopefully I don't need a flying machine. I have not figured out flying yet. I kind of experimented with building something, but it did not work out too well. But yeah, that's somebody. That's him right there, man. What you doing way up there, dude? Can I tear this down? Let's see. Are we going to have to like, fly up there or something? I think it's missing some parts, so should be able to pop that right there. And I think I have, let's click to it and go up on the build thing. And I should scooch it away here. Should have a replacement wing for this dude. Hey, look at that. I think we rebuilt this crazy thing. So I need like a repair thing on it though. Okay. Look at that. Okay. So this isn't very much of a hover thing. Oh, he doesn't have the missile thing either. So we're kind of, we just got the little pea shooter. <laughs> what on earth, man? We just got that little thing. What the heck? Did you know that you can simply hold down space bar? Yeah, I, I know. I know. Really? You just now giving me that tip? I've like got like a million hours on this thing already. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this dude back into our thing. Yeah, overwrite it since it's complete now. Okay, so how can we forget how to go? Can we turn around? No, we're gonna have to like go this way. All right. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of scary. So let's let's go up and then let's see let's go this way can I land up there oh boy oh boy oh that's not good oh no that's not good at all 
build. There we go. Ooh, we saved ourselves from crashing. Okay, we started. We started to. We started something. I like these controls. So let me turn this way. Click around. And then turn. All right. Let's see if we can just kind of like glide up on this thing. Oh no! Oh, stay, stay, build. There we go. I'm playing hide and seek. I need to get back to the lab. Man, if you take off again, I'll be in touch should you ever need a uh, test subject. What? Okay. And we got some new parts. Are you going to plop a chest way up here? Of course you are. Okay. <laughs> yep, throw all that stuff up here. What the heck is this stuff, man? Continue. So we have... What is that? Research, research cross. I don't know what that does. Let's see. Can I take my little thing out here? And we'll just suck up all that. Press. I was able to fly and get that thing. I only got three little blocks out of it. So was that? I don't know what that was. What faction? Oh, it's this guy. Okay. So if we go here, yeah, yeah, all right. So that's the first time that we got this ridicule research stuff. So that's a new thing. Wow, so we have space junk, junkers, the the ridicule, and better future, I got a lot of parts for. Hawkeye, a lot of parts. Venture, we're still not really getting a lot of stuff from them. So, all right, let's do this. And take this guy. Can I, can I just zap to my... I really, really can't, can I? Can't do it in here, can we? I can't, like, teleport to my dude. No. It doesn't work. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to just take off. And fly. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Let's fly over here. No, watch out, watch out. Oh, my God. All right, let's just come in. There we go. There. Okay. So we're right there. That's a nice little... Use a little build thing to cheese my way over. Alright, so now we can store that away. Cool. Alright, so we did that mission. And now we have... Well, we need to get some kind of trading station thing. So there's one up here and one over here. I guess we're going to go to that one our way over there. Maybe we can find some spiked tires. And there's some crazy thing over there too. Oh, that's that hubba hubba thing. Oh yeah, that's right there. Okay, so maybe we can work our way down that way. I don't know. We'll have to find out. My little money maker thing is not making money either. So I'm going to recall that. And then we'll have that stored up so that maybe we can put it up over here on this flat area. Oh, do tether myself. All right, we're going into battle with somebody. Maybe got some got some spiky wheels, dude. Let's suck up all the parts with our new little thing. It's not very strong, so I don't really like it. I mean, it's okay. I think I like the magnet thing better though. Cause see, it doesn't. It has a not great range to it. So I think we're gonna stick the other giant thing back on there. Because this thing just does not work very well. So I'd rather, because I have a few of these. Let's go right here. So I have a few of these things. They're just massive. So I'll just plop it down right there. Then when I deploy it, it makes it a little better too. So it's so much stronger. I like the distance on it. It's crazy. But I do tend to hit it a little more when, when I'm going over terrain. So I'm going to go over here. There's a little blue thing. We might be able to put one of those mining things down. We can kind of look at this area for a second. Tech just flying in over there. All right, cool. So we have a little tech thing. I mean, tech thing. We have a little a mineral deposit. Two of them right next to each other. So I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze two different 
little miners in here. So let's look at one. And what's going on? Okay. Why is it position blocked? What is it blocked with? All right. That's, it kind of gets weird sometimes, so I'm not really sure. It's not really blocked. But let's pop in over here. There's a bad guy that just flew in over there. All right, now we can steer our little miner over here. There we go. All right, cool. Okay, so we have all four going now. I don't. I think we're too close to be able to put another one in right there. But this will build up. I'll probably put like some missile launchers on this thing too, just in case we get attacked. But now that should start producing for us. And this is a good uh, resource that will produce, I think like 244, something like that. So let's go over here while that's taken off. And we'll see the, it'll show us like what it's making here. And say, here it goes. So it's doing that. Oh, we need to put on turbo mode. And so. Let's put on turbo. There it goes. Yeah, 240. Okay, so that was 240. All right, let's go over here. There's another one of these giant things. Not sure if we can see the mineral underground mineral deposit. I don't know if that's what that is or what. But I'll just kind of roll over it. Yeah, maybe that is what that is. Okay. I'm do the same thing. What I can do over here too is collect all of these and then pop our thing down and it'll process them and do the same kind of thing. I need to make that a little better. I don't really like the way it's working right now, but it kind of helps get resources to charge our thing at night and then get us some money at the same time. Now, if I can just figure out the silo thing, I really need to figure that out. So let's go here and plop down another one of these things. So we we'll have to just kind of do it like off, all four. There you go. See, that was that was easy. That was, that's all four going now. So much much easier. So do we see any more of those little things? So this area should make us a little bit more money. Let's let's go here. Just look. I have a little whatever that goopy goo stuff is. Cool, now we can unlock this part of the map. Hey, look at that. It doesn't show the ice. So I don't know, the ice is like right here. Maybe that's, maybe it does, I don't know. I don't see, we have to unlock another, maybe we'll go to that trading station and see, but let's check out this one, see if we can buy anything over here. Let's unlock the little missions. And then we'll click it again. Should give us another, oh, it gave us three. Sees the hostile. Okay. Will it give us any more? Whoa, there's a lot of dudes flying in over there. Ooh, found another cruise missile. Holy cow, that's 33 grand. We're buying it. Definitely getting it. What's that? These are different. Research input valve. Let's see. When set above zero, it always outputs a signal value. This value can be set between zero and 99. Interesting. Don't know what we can use that for, but let's buy one or two. The red wire, universal wire. Oh, this all looks cool. We can do some wiring stuff. And this game has so much in it. I'm still like freaking out over all the stuff. Oh man, we got more stuff. We got a transmitter, buy one of those. Signal receiver, I'm gonna buy one of those. Logic. Oh, I like logic stuff. All right, so we have a less than, an equal to. Oh, heck yeah. All right, we're gonna do some crazy stuff with this, I think. So let's get one of these. Oh, we're just gonna buy all that. I'm running out of money. Gonna have to hang out in this spot. We need, we got a turkey. <laughs> all right, so this is a signal receiver. That is a signal transmitter. Int okay, I don't know what to do with that. All right, let's go take on these giant dudes real quick. See what kind of damage we can do with our little setup. Man, what has he got all over him? Oh my god. Dude, I just pressed the button one time. 
just not. I must have hit something like super critical because that was bananas. I'll suck up all the parts real quick over here. I'll come back and get that maybe. Yo, yo, yo. Get back off my stuff. There you go. That's why I put shields on it. See all the, we have quite a few parts left over. A crate is over here. A tool crate. All right, let's go to the tool crate. Oh, something just flew in over there. There's a lot of stuff in that crate. Okay, looks like there's a thing over here that was showing up on our radar, I noticed. I got like every radar mounted on our thing. Oh, maybe that was just a tool crate thing. Right. Is that a back? I mean, what is that? Is that a base? There is, there's some bad dudes over there. That looks like a base. Probably don't need to destroy it. I got these guys. There we go. The base is ours. Nice, we got a base. All your base belong to us. Let's see. So this just looks, what? This could, come on, dude. Are right, you attacking my base? Here, let me, can I? Got you like a fish guy, man. Come on. Dude, what you have to get all in my stuff for? Making me mess up my base. All right, this is just another refinery. I think I've, I'm just gonna suck all that stuff up. Okay. Okay. Let's get all this stuff going here. It's a lot of, a lot of parts. Okay, I found a good source of this green gook stuff over here. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. What is it? What is it called? Your Eurodite? Eurodite shards? So we can put down a miner over here. Let's grab one of these bad boys and plop it down over here. And then we'll just drive it over this way. Let's see what we get here. Oh my gosh. First try. Look at that. What? All right, that's cool. So that's gonna process all of that, and then we can put a little speed doohickey on it. Wherever that thing went. Let's see, what was it called? Turbo? Uh, that's not what it's called. Oh, pacemaker. Yay, pace. Oops, let's spell it right. That's it, okay. So we can put that, it does have one on it. What in the world, did I put two on that other one? Okay. Let's turn it to turbo. Nice. And we get 233 off of that one. So now let's put another one. There we go. We got four. Four going right there. I mean, up, yeah, four more. And that should get us the money coming in. Unmount. And we have another couple of spots over here. So this should be good. Okay. There we go. We got it making some stuff, so let's see how much it can make. There we go, 233, all right. Now let's go back to our dude here, dismount. All right guys, so I went ahead and set down a, another miner right here, a little quad miner, and it is making a bunch of money now, so we, we are now up to 767,000. I went and took a little break with the fam for a minute, and we earned a whole bunch of money in that time. So in about 30 minutes, I guess, you know, we made 768,000 with how many miners do I have? I don't even know. Let's see. We have these two are in a different little quadrant. So we're not actually getting anything off of those. So really we have four set up right here and these are all bringing in some money. Now I can recall the other ones and put them in the same spot. So if I see a location, I figured like, you know, figured if we're gonna be over here for a minute, I may recall those and then place them down over here somewhere. So maybe we can get up to like a million bucks or whatever, I don't know. But anyway, I did notice we're actually by one of the little stations over here. So on our map, we're like by the trading station. So, and we haven't discovered that one. So I kind of wandered over here, not even realizing that we were at this location. So let's go here to reveal the map a little more. Bam. Okay. So that has revealed the map. I still 
don't know if this is ice, you know, like, can we reveal that area a little better? Are we just going to end up with a bunch of incomplete circles or something? I don't really know how this is going to end up, but, but we have the Hubble bubble trouble thing over here. And so we are probably going to go check that out. That might be the last thing for this particular episode, because that looks like that's going to take a while. I don't really know. But let's look in here and see what kind of resources we can get and then also see what challenges and quests we have over here. Delivery crate for, up for grabs, abandoned tool crate, and hunting party. So these are all pretty standard. Um, let's see if we get anything else that shows up. Nothing else over here. So I think we're at the one of the main missions. So let's look in this thing, see if there's anything we can buy with our money that's rolling in now. Ooh, that looks different. GSO, GSO medium extender, medium sized block with a particular shape. Ah, okay. All right, let's look down, looking for weapons and some of these light chassis components right here for making a flying machine. Really need to make a better flying thing. Windows, we have research windows, weird. What is that? Research lookout cab. Okay, so it looks like that mounts on the side and uh, don't see any new wheels or anything like that. These are the big boy wheels, which is what we have. And those are the tank treads. Uh, the Gigaton Cannon. I have a couple of those, I think, already. Magnet. Let's see. The the, yeah, I can't wait to... Oh, wait a second. Is this new? Wait, we have a toggle switch now. And the altitude gauge. And a signal extender. Oh, all right. We're going to buy all that stuff. So what is this? This looks new too. Uh, vertical research variable color pixel. Oh, we can make like little pixely things and a gate and a hat. A plasma furnace generator and a repair bubble. Okay, so we're getting all this. All right. Give me one second. I'm going to grab all this stuff. So grabbed all of that and then... Let's uh, go over to this hubba bubba bubble thing. See what the heck we're about to get ourselves into. Well, that thing, we're already back up to 730 grand. So, just spent a bunch at the trading station. So, I wonder what the heck. You know what? Let me go ahead and save real quick. Let's do a save. We'll do a new save. And, yeah. All right. So, we'll save. I don't need to save my vehicle. But, just wanted to make sure I had a clean save. Before we go over here and get ourselves into trouble. How do we, is there an entrance? This is like a big old warehouse thing. I guess I'm going in the right place. Oh, hey there, Mr. Whatever you are. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Auto zoom. A valued customer. Actually, today I should say greetings. Trust. Trust your colleague. Colleague, our Gigastack facility has gone offline. It has three cores. You'll have to power each one up. It's easy. Just flip the breaker in each core to bring the facility back online. Well, not easy. The defend matrix has been engaged. Getting to the breaker, the prism grid has built a maze of walls between. The ghost guardians have been released. You can't even fight those things. You'll the overlord barrier will fry anything that tries to enter or leave through. And to top it off, it's pretty dark in there. We better attach some lights. What the heck? Yeah, what are we getting ourselves into? Run away. Okay, I don't know. Don't know if I'm in the best vehicle for running through. Oh my gosh, is that? Wait a second. What the heck? Is that the maze? I can't even squeeze to that door. All right, we may have to make a. Let me go out here. It's like it won't let me zoom out. So there we go. I can zoom out a little bit. All right. So I've been collecting some little tech dudes. So maybe we can use one of those guys and kind of outfit it for with the, something that we can use. So let's load a tech. Yeah, like this little guy right here. We could deploy. I can actually deploy a new one, right? We're not missing any parts, are we? Yeah, not missing any parts. It has some kind of guns on it. Do I have something that looks that's a little beefier? <laughs> I don't think I do. No, just from a long time ago. 
We got the little flying saucer thing, but I don't think that's going to be good for much. And then we got this guy. That's more of a little drill machine. Let's grab this. I should be able to... Should I just swap? Let's just swap. There we go. Oh, there's all my stuff. All right. So what do we have for guns here? We got... That is not very good for guns, but it's a little bitty guy. Steer's pretty good. Don't feel like it is... Oh my gosh, I don't really feel very confident in this one. <laughs> okay, we should probably outfit this dude. What is that? Is that the cab? Or, or is that the cab? What is that? Oh, it's got an AI module on it. And a cab? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. So you can put an AI... I can put an AI module on my cab. I mean, on my thing and control it. Okay. Let's see if we can modify this thing real quick. I want to put probably some missile -y things on it. Maybe one of those laser beams. So give me one second. I don't know if I'll record this part or not. <laughs> it's going to take a bit for me to play around. All right, guys. So... I have been reconfiguring a new little speedster, basically, kind of a fully loaded, um, weapons out kind of fast vehicle. And this one seems to do pretty good. Let's back up a little bit. Got a lot of firepower here. We do have our batteries exposed, but I have missiles launching from the back and we have like these cannons on top. And we have rocket launchers on the side, some batteries with solar panels so we can recharge pretty quickly. And I don't think we're going to be able to recharge inside of this, whatever this weird hubba bubble trouble maze thing or whatever it is. But it did say we needed some lights, so I added some lights. And we also have like these little cannons right here that pop up like that. And I've added some little aesthetic pieces on here, but overall, it runs pretty good like it and it turns you know really nicely and sharply on a turn so i think we should be able to navigate this maze it's still pretty wide but we do have our lights when we come in so i think we should be able to get in here pretty easily and yeah so let's go ahead and do that it's kind of weird that the whole sun goes down like instantly as soon as we go <laughs> in in that place but let's start this thing. We're still making some money over at our little refineries over there. And let's just see how well this thing does. I don't know. I do have the better little cockpit thing on it. It's supposed to be more armored. Man, we are so up close up on the dude's butt here. So looks like this is going to be like a typical maze thing. So we need to take it easy around these turns. Try not to run our vehicle. I'm glad I made it really nimble so okay uh oh so we're actually legit going into a maze i never take the first turn probably not that one's gonna that one's not gonna lead anywhere whoa, whoa, whoa you over there buddy got like some evil bots okay okay oh dude how like do they just spawn like every two seconds come on man oh why is he not dying Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. They're like little ghost bots. So how do we... Maybe... Oh, it actually is playing ghost music. So let's see how we can do with this thing. Wow, we're running out of power fast. Oh my gosh, are we... Can, okay, there we go. Is it going to keep respawning? Do we... Oh my gosh, it is. Maybe we just keep going through here. Maybe they won't follow us. Wow. So we've already, can I recharge? There is no way to recharge in here. Okay. Well, this may be short lived. So let's see. Uh, okay. Maybe we'll just run past them. How about that? If I see a ghost, we're going to, oh my gosh, I can't. We need this thing to auto align. See if we can get going here. I don't know where the heck I'm going. Oh, dead end. Dead end. All right, so we got this guy here. And maybe... Uh, gosh, I don't even know where to go. Okay, we're already out of shields. That's not good. That's not good. 
Um, oh, what the heck is this? Oh, here's trouble. What? Trouble? Can I recharge real quick? Well, looky here. We've got crusty, a crusty customer wandering around our stacks. This is our giga stack now. Oh, what fun we've got in store for you. Uh oh. We'll see what happens when you try to reach the next one. It's called a breaker for a reason. Oh boy, I don't have any shields, folks. Can I recharge off of this thing? Can I? Should I put like a. I wonder if I put like a remote charger. Let's see. Where's that thing at? Let's look for the charge. Is that what it, what what heck's it called? Um ring thing? What is that thing called? It's under probably electric stuff. Yeah, here we go. There's one. Wireless charger. Okay, so I had one that was like, yeah, here is a this one has a wider band band on it. You guys may notice I've also changed the colors of my my little dude here. I wonder, will that charge? Can we charge off of that? I don't think we can. It's blocking our gun too. So I don't see us charging. Oh, crud. Okay. I don't know where to put that now. I'll just put that and use it as a thing. Okay, are we supposed to go in here somewhere? Like, is that doing anything for us? What, are we, do we make it? Do we need... How do we, are we supposed to go somewhere? Put that dude right there. It's just, so where, where do we go now? We're still in this thing. Let's see if we can go anywhere. I can't click on that. Well, that's not good. Okay, let's see what we can do to get out of here go straight maybe yeah maybe this way uh -oh. oh no dang it does it work when you attack those guys they don't seem to be taking a lot of damage just scoot on through here No idea if we're going the right way. Oh, nope, not. Okay, come on, get out of there. Let's go this way. Okay, that looks like the exit. All right, we're gonna try this again. See if I can make it through this thing. So let's go this way. And I don't know, we're just gonna run past all these guys, I guess, because doesn't seem like they do a lot of damage and I can do a whole lot about them unless they get in the way maybe let's see oh nope not dead end good um, dead end there oh boy cannot see Just trying to get through here with my. Oh no, it's a dead end. Shoot. Let's see. Go this way. Oh my gosh. Maybe I needed a small dude. Where did you come from, man? What the heck? Okay. I don't think I went this way. Man, it's hard to like navigate. Probably this way. Following the question mark. Okay, this is a bigger room. It's like a dead end there. You stay shooting the wall. And maybe around this way? Hey, look at that. Oh, okay, so we need to charge up all these little things. Oh, we're green now. Working hard for more blocks than BB. Yep, yep, yep. Well,. When, when will it end? Okay, I don't know. Are you not satisfied yet? We got a little bit of energy left. Oink, oink. What the biscuit is going on? Greedy pig. Who are we? Are we having a conversation with me or these two? We got like 
the blue and the red dude. Alright. Hee hee. And we got like Mr. Johnny Five alive over there making jokes. Okay, so did we did we do something in here? I don't know. Okay. Let's see. We got a thing there. Alright. So looks like we need to go to that side. Jeez Louise. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, there's a... What the heck is that? Some of the green thing. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. Going this way. Uh, I made some changes to my... Did, did the thing change? Let's go out here for a second. Maybe we can recharge for a minute. Okay, we're going back in. See if we can get to the other breaker, I guess. Probably not that way. I think this is maybe the best way to go here. And let's see if we can figure out what to do. Just ram that guy. Oh, nope, can't go there. So go this way. Boy, it's hard to see all close up like this. Uh oh. Guy here, and it looks like can we go in there? Nope. Okay, not that way. Mm, not that way. Let's see. Is there like a we need like a first-person point of view driving or something? Maybe that'd be better. I don't know. Okay, so we can't go that way. We can go this way. Got somebody after us. Two guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, turn around, dude. Oh my gosh. I not see a thing. Okay. I need to get the mouse off sorted out. This is crazy. Alright, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Oh my, that guy's got some freaking weapons. Oh my gosh, turn. Okay, okay, okay. Easy there. The no fly zone. What the heck does that mean? Oh my gosh. Do I have to knock these dudes out? Oh my gosh. Can we, can we use clothes? Blackness in him. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay. Oh hey, we made it to this thing. Holy cow. Boy, that was tough. We gotta make it all the way back. Oh, can I charge? I can charge. He's oink oinking again, me. What the heck? Speak to Hubble. Well, let me get my shields back up. That is crazy. I feel like I lost some weapons or something. I think we're all good. Yeah. So I didn't really feel like I needed the lights like I thought. Oh, wait a second. I did. We lost a block right there. I had a block. Ooh, that, that was almost. Oh, no, that was my missile launcher. Oh, no. <laughs> because they've been shooting our back. That's why. Okay, so here's a solution. I think I do have some extra blocks. I don't know if we have to make it back through all of that. But we do have like some armor plating we can stick back there or maybe under the Hawkeye stuff. I feel like the armor plating on that is a little better. So maybe what we'll do, how about we'll just take, take this four block thing, flick it around. Oh no, what the heck? Does that copy? Oh, that copies the block. I can hit middle button and it copies the block. What? I didn't know that. I'm still learning stuff on this crazy game. I do have another missile launcher thing. Okay, we're looking for blocks, blocks, blocks. Where the heck? Okay, I was just trying to put this one block on the back. For some reason, I can't get it to rotate. Why does it not rotate? Okay, we'll just put two of these. That one there. And that one there. And then, oh crap. Then we'll put this armor plating that's small that's medium and that's full 
There we go. That'll, that'll protect our rear end. Okay. Now, let's turn around. Look at how snappy he is, man. He's all... He's all quick and... Oh, there's parts of my vehicle right there. Oh, no. Those are parts of... That's my front end. I guess we can pick it back up and stick it on. And... I can't zoom out, so it's like really hard to navigate this thing. Okay, flicky flicky. All right. And we have to go back out of here. All right. Are we going to get attacked by those dudes? So we did like a little spiral around this thing. Now we can zoom out now and we're not all like close quarters of everything. How weird. Still making money, man. We're almost at a million bucks. Okay. Oh. That's, oh, we're at the door. Trusted colleague. Wow, you made it out. Uh, I guess so. But of course you did. Well done, weird emoji. I don't know what that was. My counterpart seemed to have been corrupted by doom virus. <laughs> bubble trouble and tr bubble and trouble were always bad. I can't believe. I'll have to speak to corporate weird symbols. But anyway, congratulations are in order. Well done. Ugg. <laughs> oink, oink. You can give me some something. We're taking Hubble. What? Hee -he. So, I don't know what's going on. So we got these two. We got red, blue, and that dude. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Alright. Whoa, look at all that crazy stuff. Right, we'll just put this thing down right there. Suck all that stuff up again. I don't know what that is. That's better future some kind of something. Alright. Cool. Nice. And we were pretty much intact. I just lost our missile system on the back. So other than that, we're doing pretty good. So I guess we made it through there. Yeah. So second wave. I don't like that name. That's that dude right there. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. I kind of like this new vehicle. I, I wonder if it goes up the, you know, like these steep hills nicely. I spent a lot of time making this thing. And it seems to turn pretty man maneuverable. Oh, God. All right. Well, I still have the problem of going up hills. Oh, wait. Well, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, wow. Dude, okay. He zips right around. Nice. Okay. So, we're doing pretty good. And still making some cash over here. So, go over to our little cash bases. So, I got four operating over here and then one out into the desert over there. Which, I, I, if you notice, I don't know if you guys can see this, but... If you see, if you look right in the horizon area on on the flat plains, you can see that there's like a little highlighted box. You can see the corner right there and a corner right here. And so what I've noticed is that it seems like we make money when we're, when, when that thing is in, when our little square is within range. This one may have actually run out of resources. So I don't see that it's producing anything anymore. Or it got attacked. Oh, it's not, it's not, yep, it ran out of resources. There's no more underneath it. So we can recall this one. So I can just right click and just add that back to our inventory. And I can plop it down somewhere else. So that's cool. So yeah, all right, cool. Punk, punks. These are all little, I guess, Secondary missions. Oh wow. That that's a big old dude over there. I don't think this little guy can take him on. So we could switch over. And so I actually just to interrupt myself for a second. I I built no I can't swap. Now why can't we swap to that guy? We can swap to this guy. And then can I swap? What are we missing? Missing something from that dude. Missing, oh, missing those. 
Okay, so I do have, I can do this. We do have, if I go to this thing, we have a terminal and I can put this down and we can right click on that. And then I can search for missiles, not those. Maybe it's rockets. What the heck is that thing called? Let's just go to weapons. It's got to be under weapons. There it is. BMB. Okay. So those are 20. Wow. Look at that. We're about to hit a million bucks. Cool. I just hit a million bucks and we got like a little achievement award. So now we're about to spend 25 grand of that. And maybe we'll get a couple of these. I do like these. Get three. And that means I have four. I have an extra one total. So that brought us back down because they're so dang expensive. Um, all right. So now. All right. Cool. We're, we are back to our Oz tank. We want to call it that. And I did learn that we could paint this dude. If I go right here and we want to paint him blue, right click on him and blew him up like that. That's pretty cool. All right, cool. So I have us all set to gray, black, silvery, chromey, whatever kind of look that is. Uh, we have these dudes right there when you go take out this. They just took out somebody. So let's do this real quick. Man, not even. Holy cow. Dude. Better future license maxed out. Okay, nice. Man, that, that dude did a lot of damage to us. I forgot we went in with no shields. <laughs> I think I lost a bunch of stuff. I didn't realize I forgot to charge my shields up, man. All right, well, that's okay. You know, it's a bit of a knucklehead there for a second and totally forgot to charge my weapons and ran into those giant three dudes. But hey, we survived. So now I have to see if we can rebuild <laughs> the front of this guy i may you know i've been building a new creation just about every episode so i'll probably just make a bunch of changes to this guy anyway i, I think i want to make him even bigger and wider and make a better processing plant and if you guys let me know like what i can do with the silos and how i can make those function a little better that would be great because i am still confused on how to get those silos to do whatever like it, it feel, I feel like they should be able to you know provide the resources to whatever I need at the time and maybe it does and but maybe it doesn't do it for this refinery or not refinery but the furnace so I thought we could use the silos to put you know take and put it into the furnace but maybe it only works when we're doing fabrication stuff you know so all right well cool well, it looks like we did a lot in this episode. It's probably going to be kind of long and, and everything, but I think we accomplished a bunch of stuff, made a bunch of money. We're all back over a million bucks, and we accomplished this weird hubba bubble trouble boils and trouble thing. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. So, yeah. So we, we accomplished the maze thing, finished it, and then found out a new area, did the science weirdness with the ice area Man, are we out of energy again what happened oh i guess because i blew off half my stuff i don't have my, my batteries and all that oh yeah well i do have that giant battery in there but it looks like the sun went down and maybe i did oh we only have one solar panel i oh, know we have two okay i oh, know we have three there's the third one why is it not doing its thing okay whatever oh there it goes man that's slow Okay, well, I just probably need to recharge for a little bit more and figure that out. But at any rate, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to end the episode here. And to make sure you like and subscribe on the videos. And in the next episode, we will go through and maybe do some more of these, find more of the training stations and figure out some more of this ice dome. Maybe we'll go up north. We still have a lot of the map. God, is how much of this map? is there um i don't really know but i mean we've only covered a little bit and i still need to figure out this airplane thing so we still need to make a nice airplane and a and kind of keep this guy going with whatever you know i definitely need to make some changes to him because uh he, he's just getting kind of clunky and looks like a big square right now so 
we need to do something about that and get him looking a little better and actually put some design into him and some function as well. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.